Okay, so let's take a look at questions 13 through 18 for today's review. Now, some of our graph, some of our equations, let me compare it uh, looking at 13 through 15. Some of them have a theta at a corner. So I, I can ask for cosecant of theta, sine of theta, tangent of theta, but then 16 through 18 don't have a theta at the corner. Then I use tan of z, sine of c, cosine of a. Okay, so let's take a look at when the theta is there. Let me label my size. The biggest side is the hypotenuse. Now, based on theta, right, raised from this corner where theta is, four is the opposite, three is the adjacent. Remember, opposite means far away, and adjacent means close to. Then we learned some ratios, right? I gave you guys on Tuesday, we, we, we did a chart, cosecant. Cosecant was hypotenuse over opposite. So five over four. Simplify your fraction if you can. This one we cannot, so just five over four. Do not call it one and one fourth. It's not a mixed number. Just leave it as five over four. It's okay for the big number to be on top. Let's take a look at question number 14. Let me label my sides. 15, the biggest side is the hypotenuse. Theta, it's at this corner. So 12 is the opposite, 9 is the adjacent. We learned that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So 12 over 15, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. Simplify each, each uh, value if possible. 12 and 15, I can divide each by, I don't know, by 3. So it's going to give me 4 over 5. So my answer is four over five. Simplify your fractions if possible. Let's take a look at number 15. Eight is the hypotenuse, right? This is the biggest side. It's farthest away from the 90 degrees. Here's theta. So this is my opposite. This is my adjacent. We learned that tangent was opposite over adjacent. So four radical three over four. Good thing the force cancel out, right? So my answer is not a fraction anymore because I have nothing at the bottom. So it's not a fraction, it's just radical three. So I'm just gonna write radical three. That way you will type this rad three. Nothing at the bottom, it's not a fraction anymore. You don't have anything at the bottom. Now let's take a look at number 16. 37 is the hypotenuse, right? It's the biggest side of all. Here is it tangent of z. So theta will be at this corner. So this is my opposite, this is my adjacent. We learned that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So 12 over 35. Simplify if possible. And nothing I can see that I can divide and by. So 12 over 35 seems correct. Now, question 17. 29 is the hypotenuse, right? The biggest side, sine of C. So this is where theta will go. This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. Sine, we learn, is opposite over hypotenuse. So 20 over 29. Mm, cannot simplify more. So that's it. Lastly, let's see. 13 is my hypotenuse, cosine of A. So here at corner A is where theta will go. 5 is the opposite, 12 is the adjacent. Cosine, I remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 12 over 13. Cannot simplify, so that's it. Let me zoom out. That's what we did today.